Alright, what's from Moist Nugget Finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more uh, Killing uh, Flora 2. But yeah, man, as you probably read from the title, we're gonna be playing today with the buffed Mosin Nagan. But yeah, on top of that, we're also gonna be checking out a custom map called Gridlock, and apparently this map is from Gears of War or something like that. I'm not sure because I haven't played that game. But yeah, do let me know. And on top of that, I'm also gonna be playing with a custom skin for the Mosin Nagant. And the skin is from Battlefield. Field. And here we go, this is how the skin is gonna look like in game, and I do must say it looks way freaking better than everything that, you know, we got in the bundle when you actually purchase the weapon. Not sure why that happens, but it happens. But yeah, I mean, this skin, I am gonna be using it pretty much forever, because, I mean, there's no use in picking worst looking ones, because this one looks just mm, perfection. I mean, the only downside about having custom skins is that only you are going to, you know, see them and other people won't. But I mean, using the skin is pretty much all that matters, right? And without further ado, Lego, let's see what the Mosin Gunt is actually all about. But I mean, is this weapon pay to win? I mean, it's not exactly pay to win, but it definitely is pay to have a little bit more fun in the game. I mean, look at this shit, man. You can just like poke them and they're just like dead. I mean, that's why I love this thing. Okay, of course I get greeted by a random myself from behind. Dude, the sharpshooter with, you know, freeze grenades, it's like one of the most satisfying things ever. Especially with the most in the gun, these patch-out effects. They just, like, all work in conjunction. Okay, right here, no problem, easy whoopage. Nice. And this is why I love it, satisfying to hell. Okay, I am gonna say one thing, this bayonet bash... I, I don't know its headbox, it's just like so freaking weird. But I mean, you're just gonna see that when you're gonna be playing this thing by yourselves, because it always prioritizes things on the left for some reason. Okay, got a bunch of elves behind, no problem, can just quickly whoop him with my bayonet. Oh, he's actually behind. Freaking cuck his fam. No, oh, got more elves, don't mind if I just go and poke you really quick. Completely missed you, but I'm just gonna whoop you with my bayonet. Easy. So yeah, what are the functionalities of the Mosin Nagant? Well, for starters, yeah, you can actually parry and block. And this is extremely useful because you don't have to, you know, change to the knife to, you know, do the same thing. And on top of that, parrying and blocking with this thing is actually more effective than with the knife. Because, you know, holding block actually reduces incoming damage by 40%, and if you actually do a successful parry, it's gonna be 50%. So yeah, that is actually pretty freaking neat, and that's why I love this thing to bits. I mean, to be fair, it is a bolt-action rifle, so you do have to like reload a lot of times you know five shots and then like a reload and that is the main problem of the sharpshooter because he has to you know reload quite a bunch but i mean if you have like aim with the sharpshooter yeah this perk is a very freaking cool i mean fair enough i'm not like the best aimer out there but i hit like a fair amount of shots i guess okay just as i said that i got like cornered by a cookie and a stupid ass either yeah, of course Okay, you're toast now, fam. I got him. Oh, you're still alive. Well, not anymore, you're not. Okay, just missed him. Time for a freeze grenade. Because I did see, like, a couple of stalkers behind my ass. Okay. I'm gonna have to heal, because they are getting annoying by the second. Okay, can you just go and get killed? Didn't even kill him for some unknown reason, but sure thing, why not? Why did I, like, miss him the first time? Okay, not sure if I missed him, or is he actually a tanky ass piece of shit? Okay. I mean, this is like the best part. You don't even need to like successfully headshot poke him to, you know, kill him. Then look at that. It even like destroys the right here. But yeah, like I said, the sharpshooter's main problem is, you know, the long ass freaking reload he has to do. Or should I say the frequent reload he has to do. And on top of that, he also struggles with, you know, trash Zeds. Because there's like a bunch of them and, you know, the sharpshooter just has to be like accurate every single time. But I mean, with the most in a gun, yeah, you can just poke him. Oh, look at him. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think that was still like the Edar from before. Okay. Easy. But yeah, just take a good look at this skin. Just so good. Trader is apparently just stuck in... Stuck behind bars. Okay, auto fill and fully upgrade the Nagan. And here we go, wave 3 out of 4. But yeah, I mean, freeze grenades are a sharpshooter's best freaking friend. Because if you don't use them, yeah, I'd know. Oh, look at him. Wait, he's, is he like a one-shot? Okay, he is a two-shot on solo, so that means most likely the same thing on multiplayer. 
I mean, I don't like actually go and test shit out on multiplayer all that much. I mean, if something dies, he dies, and if he doesn't, then keep shooting him. And that's like my conclusion on, you know, weapons. Okay, easy clap, easy clap. There's gonna be like a bunch of flesh bones and scrakes. Do I care for him? Probably not. Oh, there he is. Okay, the man just deraged, so I'm just gonna go and do some rack him ups and kill them like that. Easy. Okay, got more health. I'm just gonna go and quickly poke his just to like not waste ammunition. I mean, you don't really need to like shoot little things. You can just like poke him, but that means you have to get like up close to him. And most likely that's gonna spell your demise. Okay, stupid cookies, man. Swear to God. Oh, wait, can I do it? Can I do it? Ooh. Perfection. But yeah, this weapon... At the end of the day, it's all about satisfaction. In this game, I don't really care for, you know, the meta of the game. All I do care about is having... Yeah, a lot of freaking fun. And this weapon does exactly that. Oh, right, here is. No, oh, he's a clappage. But yeah, the only thing I would change on this weapon is the longest freaking time it takes to shoot when you, you know, pull it out. And I'm just gonna show you what I mean, but first I just have to take care of the freaking pests. No, okay, stupid ass Eidars, I swear to god, man. I actually hate him. But even with the 9mm, when you, like, pull it out, you can, like, immediately shoot. But with the Mosina gun, it takes... Yeah, kind of, like, a solid second before you can actually shoot. And that is... Yeah, not that great. Ah, rest in peace, Skrake, man. Or should I say Skrook? Ah, uh, Skrooky Skrook. But, yeah, man, one thing I love doing with the sharpshooter is pulling out the 9mm to get the rack em up stacks and then just, like, you know, changing to the weapon... Or so say the primary weapon and just like shoot them like that. Because the 9mm on the sharpshooter, yeah, it shoots pretty freaking fast and it gets rack em up stacks. Like I said, pretty freaking fast. And this is what I mean. You like pull it out and it takes a hell of a long time for you to shoot. And that's pretty sad. Okay, stupid spooders, man. Actually gonna like bash you like this. Oh, can I kill him? Oh, but of course. And I'm getting like flesh bones from left and right, apparently. And that's why I love it. You can just block him. Okay, get some rack em ups on you. There we go. And that's how you kill flesh bones, boys. Get some fancy ass rack em ups and then just like shoot the dudes. Like it's none of your business. Oh my god, cookies fam. Okay, I guess we're going in uh, this direction because I do see some sirens and some spooders. Easy. But yeah, I do have the crouch skill on, so if I crouch, I'm gonna like reload faster and I'm also gonna do a little bit more damage. Okay, and I just like missed a freaking stalker, I swear to god, stalkers, man, I just hate them. But yeah, I mean, in this game, if anything's gonna like cuck me, it's gonna be either a freaking stalker, Edar, or a spooder. You know, the little things, because I mean, the big ones are, how should I say, you know what the hell they're gonna be doing, but with the little things... Yeah, they're just gonna be cucking you, like, every step of the way. Ooh. Do that, like, satisfaction when you just, like, hit a shot with this thing. It's just so nice, man. Actually so nice. Okay, time to move a little bit the other direction, because I don't want to get cornered on one side of the freaking map. Ooh. But yeah, the sharpshooter, I also love it because it has a 5% chance to trigger that time. But yeah, man, overall, the freaking sharpshooter with the moss and the gun, it's pretty freaking neat. Okay, of course, we get, like, a bunch of freaking quarter pound, that's always nice. Pieces of shit. Clapped. But yeah, I do like combining this thing with the F and fall, but that means you can't upgrade it at all. But I mean, that is a cool freaking combination you can do with the sharpshooter. Okay, I'm not hoping for a freaking Hans, because that's gonna be pretty freaking bad. Well then, who are we gonna get? Fingers crossed for, I know, the new one, Patriarch, King Fleshbound. Oh, Patriarch. Well then, Patriarch, let's see what you can do against the Mosin Nagan. But yeah, the way to beat the Patriarch on a map like this is to just, like, kite him around, you know, something. Okay, thanks, man. Actually doing, like, some damage through the car. And this is why I love this thing. You can just, like, parry the dude. Okay, shoot the car, don't really care. Okay, the real question is, can I actually kill him before he's gonna go away and heal? Yep, that's what I'm gonna try and experiment right here. Oh, stupid ass clots and needles, man. Oh, there he is. Can I freeze him? Bro, I don't even know where the hell he is. Man, just run. Nope, I can't kill him before his first heal, sadly. Okay, now I'm just, like, stuck with a bunch of trash and a uh, freaking patriarch. Eh, cool. Okay, you know what? My plan's gonna be to kill him before his second heal, because that's... 
gonna be good. Okay, Pitch York, where are you at? I need some rack em ups. I mean, fair enough, you're just like running straight at me, I just like missed him a couple of times. Okay, you do that machine gun, and you do that so that end. But I mean, I can parry him, so we, we Gucci. Okay, you know what? Back down to the cars we go, and I don't really need your MP freaking 7. Okay, where is he at? Oh, there he is. Dude, I'm not even catch calling, man. It's doing like so much freaking damage to him. And fair enough, it is like a fully upgraded Nagant. Okay, just need to shoot him a little bit. Here we go. And all to do is just like bail him. Okay, can you just get frozen, fam? Nope, he doesn't want to get frozen. Oh, there he is. He's just like running straight forward. Shit. Stupid spooters, I blame you. Well, then, guess we're not gonna be killing him before he is freaking healing, but I'm just gonna kill him the old fashioned way, I guess. I mean, this is how he should be, like, always. Okay, spooders out of my way, stupid ass freaking cookies. I just need, like, some ammunition so I can get some freeze grenades. That's gonna be, like, my uh, game plan here, because I still want to kill him before his last, you know, stage. Okay, here he is doing a stupid ass machine gun that he usually fails at. Oh, and now he's doing it again. Uh, coolio. Just let me get my ammunition. Dog is actually charging. Who doesn't even care? We took his last. Wait, what? Oh, I thought he was like running up here. Stupid stalkers are misleading me, fam. Then the siren. Yep, guess we ain't gonna be killing him before his, you know, peels. Ah, oh, shit, man. But I mean, fair enough. I am playing with a bolt action freaking rifle, so that is a little bit harder to do that. Dude, I actually heard someone saying that the Patriarch is harder than the Matriarch. Oh my god, I mean, how they come to that conclusion is just, like, beyond me. But, I mean, to each their own, right? Okay, Patriarch, it's a 1v1, pretty much. Put away that machine gun, because it's pretty freaking useless. What did I just say? Wait, can I step on him? No, I, I did step on him. But, I mean, he, like, fell into, like, an awkward freaking position. Couldn't even, uh, capitalize. Bruh. Oh, cool. But yeah, overall, the most in the gun, yeah, it's a pretty epic-ass freaking weapon. Fair enough, a little bit glitchy in third person, but sure. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.